Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Urbrish. Today we're going to be looking at uh, another article by David uh, Logan, uh, Three Cheers. I just wanted to mention, I, I like David Logan's name. My son's name is David, and he named his son, my grandson, Logan. So the names just kind of go together for me. Well, let's take a look at this article. Cheer up, they told me. Things could get worse. So I cheered up, and sure enough, things got worse. <laughs> I always like that saying. The, in contrast to man's well-meaning but empty phrases, when Christ tells us to cheer up, there's a very good reason to do so. On at least three occasions, he told his disciples to be of good cheer, and immediately following it with the reason why. Christ gives us three powerful cheers from God for three primary fears of man. The most compelling fear uh, of an in informed, intelligent person is fear of punishment of God. God's assessment of man is there is none that doeth good there is none uh no one and it goes on to say there's no one righteous no not one we find this in psalms 14 verse 3 also in romans 3 it quotes that scripture he warns us of a terrifying judgment day that uh when the doomed will hear him say, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Then they shall go away into everlasting punishment. Uh, Matthew 25, verses 41 and 46. Just think of those words. Just think of what he says when he says, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. They shall go away into everlasting punishment. And that's eternal punishment. But he says, be of good cheer. Christ told the paraplegic, thy sins be forgiven thee, Matthew 9, 2. For the ultimate of fear, there is an ultimate of reason to be of good cheer. Pardoned through Christ because of the sacrificial death of Christ on the cross, unconditional forgiveness of sin is available for the one who has accepted Jesus Christ as his uh, Savior. Let this fact be ever everything else. It puts everything else into perspective. All temporal, personal uh, concerns should fade away, trivially con insignificant when compared with the fact that I'm forgiven. Praise God, I'm forgiven. In the light of being of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Let uh, vanish everything looming anxiety. My sins are gone. I am a child of God. My future is heaven. The English phrase, be of good cheer, is translated from a single Greek word, theriaso, which the combined meaning of be of good cheer, be of good comfort, be of good courage with knowledge of sin forgiven. We can be joyfully consoled and unafraid. The Lord of, and his disciples had a long day. Christ told his disciples to cross the Sea of Galilee while he went up to the mountain and prayed. A violent storm blew up, and soon the disciples were rowing for their lives. Then, of all things, a ghost shows up, and the disciples screamed in terror. All of us faced the fear of the perils of life. 
adverse circumstances, work stress, job loss, loss of a loved one, ill health, uh, failure of an important school exam or other challenges. Such fears can be overwhelming. The disciples, in response to their terrified cry, heard a familiar, reassuring voice, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Matthew fourteen twenty seven. For the second basic fear, the cheer is the presence of Christ. No matter what the circumstances, he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Hebrews 13, 5. The Lord Jesus Christ is able to change every adversity, but if in his wisdom he chooses not to, we can rest in the assuring presence. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yet I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 14.10 The Greek word therieso is the present tense, the comfort that we experience from the presence of Christ is for the here and now, not the ill-defined uh, future. We can rest in it today. Third, and sometimes very real fear of persecution by man. Since the world hates Christ, it will also hate his followers. John sixteen thirty-three. Uh, this records our Lord's statement of fact to his disciples in the world you shall have tribulation he immediately follows it with but be of good cheer i have overcome the world the third cheer is of the power of christ god is in control not man when pilate said to the lord knowest thou not that i have the power to crucify thee and have the power to release thee? Jesus' reply was, Thou could have no power at all against me, except it were given to thee from above. John nineteen ten and 11. David's recognition of God's power gives him great courage. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When God in his sovereign power allows a child of his to be unjustly persecuted, it is for the purpose to bring glory to God. The scripture says unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that thy might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Romans 9, 17. The word theaso is an imperative mood, starting, stating a command, not a suggestion. But Christ does not simply command us to be of good cheer. He gives us a logical reason we can do, can be. No one has a better reason to be of good cheer than the child of God.